So this is how to use the horizontal navigation widget that comes with the Equid widgets. I'm going to start with the transition animation, then I will come back up to this section. You're probably already familiar with the transition animation. It adjusts the time that it takes to transition from each state, and so it's going to affect the transition speed for the text color, the border color, uh, and the background color. So that's what the transition speed is going to adjust, and I'm just going to show you that right here. So each transition is set to 0.3 seconds. So then next you have the menu height. The menu height will adjust how tall the menu is. Then the menu bottom border, that will adjust, as you can see, it's showing a little bit of red each time I hover over a menu item. And that's because I have bottom border set to 2. So by having it set to 2, I have the bottom border first start out as the same color as the background. But then on hover, I keep the menu background color the same, but I change the border color to be red. And so that's why the border is red when I hover over. If you do not want to use any kind of bottom border, you can get rid of it by just setting this section to 0. The menu divider width, that's a little hard to see, but it's the gray line that is separating each menu item. So the rest are colors, and they're pretty self-explanatory. I'll just run through them real fast. So again, the menu divider color, that is that thin line that is separating each menu item. The menu text color, that's just the text color of the menu. And then the menu border color, again, that is just the bottom border of the menu. And then the background color, and you know what that is. Then in this next section down here, it's going to affect the submenu. If you don't have any submenus, then this won't apply to you. But this section down here will adjust the submenu text color, so the submenu is up here. And then the submenu background color. Alright, so that's how the styling works for this widget. Now I'm going to come up to this section. First, remove the default cart. Use this if you're either not wanting the shopping cart to show up, or you're using a one of the custom shopping carts that comes with the widgets. Now I'm going to go over how to remove the categories or menu items. So I'm going to jump back over into Muse. Now to remove a category, just set the remove category to whatever number that you want. And then you have to find the category number. Finding the category number is super easy. So to do that, all you have to do is go to your store. And then I'm going to get rid of this now. And then open up whatever category you're wanting to remove. So let's say I wanted to remove iGoods. I just open up that category. And then I have to look at the URL. And it is this number that follows the C forward slash, so 3003. So if I wanted to remove the iGoods category, I would just copy that, then jump back over into Muse, select that I wanted one category removed or one menu item, and then paste the category number that I just copied. Now if we publish the site and then look at the menu again, Now iGoods is removed. So that's how you do that. Now the very last thing is the text size and type. Changing this is very easy. So first select the widget, and then you can hit the shortcut of just the letter T, or you can come up and click the text tool over here. Now, for the example I use Open Sans Light, if you wanted to change that, you could change it to, I'm gonna change it to Prestige Elite. Then I'm going to change the font size to be 16. Now just preview that in the browser. So as you can see, all the text now has changed. So that's how the horizontal navigation widget works.